Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. Now, I wanna tell you something about yourself that you probably already knew, but maybe you've forgotten. It's this, God made you with a purpose. Listen, everything God does has purpose infused in it. God never does anything by chance. Nothing is ever by happenstance. God always has a plan, and God is always doing a work. And I wanna tell you that you are uniquely created by God for unique things that He wants to do in you and through you. I get this from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 famous verse where it talks about how we are God's workmanship. That word in the Greek is poema. It literally means we are God's poem. We're God's work of art. We were created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God prepared beforehand that we would walk in. And what that means is that God, when he created you, before before you were even in your mother's womb, he created you uniquely to fulfill the very things that he wants you to fulfill. And here's what I wanna encourage you. The only place to find your purpose is first in Jesus and then as you are part of the body of Christ within the community of believers because I'm here to tell you, in our individualized culture, we have this tendency to think that my purpose exists in a self-centered and an individualistic way. I'm here to tell you, all of our purposes exist within the community of believers. And so I really wanna encourage you to take that step and step on into a local church and begin to exercise those gifts. There's, we're all growing. So no, there's no perfect church. There's only perfect savior. But I'm here to tell you, God wants to use you for the very purposes he created you. And it happens within the context of church. This is what we do. I want you to share this message because I want everyone who you know to know that God created them with purpose and where that purpose can be discovered. And in the comment section, I want you to talk a little bit about your journey in discovering God's purpose for your life. And even if you're like, hey, I'm not really so sure yet, or I thought it was this, listen, we're all in that process of discovery, but the key is, is to be on the journey because God wants to do a work in and through each one of our lives. So I can't wait to read all those accounts and God bless you today.